You're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. All right, Black and White Sports supporters. Well, we're going to talk about the National Football League. More importantly, we're going to talk about two individuals that have been a topic of conversation on this channel quite a lot over the last year or so. Most notably, of course, we're talking about Russell Wilson and one Justin Fields. Now, Justin Fields started for the Steelers this last weekend, supposedly due to a injury to Russell Wilson. Now, guys, you know I said very vocally, I thought that by uh, game number nine of this season, Justin Fields would be the starting quarterback for the Steelers regardless. Well, uh, week nine has shown up in week two, it seems like. And in case you're wondering... Case inquiring minds want to know, guess who the opponent is this weekend? This was the Russell Wilson versus Denver Broncos slash Sean Payton revenge game that will not happen. Why? Well, Justin Fields is the looks like he's the starting quarterback yet again, to quote Chris Jericho, for the Pittsburgh Steelers. And I've got to be honest with you. I've got a sneaking suspicion Russell Wilson may not get his job back, which has got to be one of the wildest falls from grace that we have seen. In case you're wondering, Justin Fields, and i got to tell you, the most impressive thing about all this, uh, this stat line, 73.9% completion percentage. I mean, seriously, and he moved the ball, and, and look, he still takes too many sacks. But so does Russell Wilson. They're both like literally, I believe they're back-to-back last year in most sacks taken. So they got the same problem. All right? But he's younger, he's faster, and he had 57 rushing yards and 156 passing yards. He did not light the, 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 the team on fire, and he hasn't lit the league on fire, but it doesn't matter. He's younger, and Pittsburgh got the win. Guess what? Mike Tomlin can can sniff a playmaker out, and the Steelers have already got that first win under their belt. So, as you can imagine, because this is, guys, this is one of the most passionate subjects I've ever seen. Russell Wilson and Justin Fields is an explosive dynamic, all right? And Lord knows, after watching Caleb Williams this last weekend, I don't want to hear Caleb got the win. He looked like shit, and I don't want to hear anything besides that, frankly. He did not look good. Yeah, they got the victory, but jury's still out on whether or not this was the right idea by the Bears. So, here we go. A lot of reaction pouring in on this. Oh, how the mighty have fallen. Two years ago, we couldn't watch a game without seeing Wilson in five commercials. That's just the thing, right? It's been all of the, oh, we're going to do high knees on the plane. It's all the uh, Subway Danger Russ commercials. It's the Mr. Unlimited thing. It's the cringe TikTok videos. It's all that kind of stuff that has led Russell Wilson to be one of the most unlikable players anybody has ever seen, even amongst former teammates like Richard Sherman and Marshawn Lynch. They can't stand him. I mean, seriously, Pete Carroll, after they beat Russell, we won this one for the old guy, the old guys on the team. What does that tell you? Wilson is officially getting paid by another team to not play football, period. Love it. Should start anyway. Russ has two years of decent QB play left. I don't know why you wouldn't go with the younger guy with potential. That's been exactly, exactly what I've been talking about for a while. You give Mike Tomlin rotten lemons and he still finds a way to make some the best lemonade ever made. Imagine when they give him some good lemons. Justin Fields is set to showcase his talent as the Steelers starting quarterback against the Broncos. Following Mike Tomlin's announcement. Wow. That's just wild. Wild. That's crazy. 
How does this affect the Bears trade? Wasn't there a certain amount of games Fields had to or not play? You know, that's a good question. I don't know that. If Fields plays well again this week, it's probably squash any chance Wilson might have of returning as a starter anytime soon. Uh, Steelers denying Russ a clap back on the Broncos. Rest in peace, Russ revenge game. That's a wrap. He's not getting that. He's not getting that revenge game. No way. How is Justin Fields a starter in 2024? Yeah, he is. I guess Russell has lost the job already. Crazy times. It should be Justin's job to lose. Let's be honest. I think it is. I think it is. Russ might be a backup now. Wow, this is wild. I mean, think about this. Sean Payton looks right. Yeah, Bo Nix had a rough kind of day, but he's a rookie, and he was in his first game. I mean, seriously. Uh, Right here, by the way, in case you're wondering, this is the QB grades. Boy, I saw a lot of people prematurely dragging Geno the other day. Mm, Turned out pretty well for Geno. By the way, I'm making a call right here, guys. Seahawks defense, I think, is going to be nasty. Nasty this year. A lot of people are talking about the Seahawks. I think they're going to be competitive for a playoff berth. I I do. I think that that Ravens defense getting installed in Seattle, it could be something. Justin Fields ended up being number 10 right here. This is uh, PFF's uh, QB grades through week one. (laughs) Sam Darnold on your bingo card, anybody? That's a testament to uh, Kevin O'Connell right there. Uh, So, here we go. Russell ain't getting his job back unless Justin gets injured. I tend to agree. I mean, I think, I mean, if they go 2-0, how do you make that switch? You don't. I mean, you don't. I mean, I I just don't think it's going to be a go-back situation uh, for Russell Wilson. Russell Wilson? may no longer be a starter in the NFL. Think about that, folks. I'll say that by week six, he'll be in there balling out or something for the Steelers. I didn't think he, he was, he was like, not have, not, not have the potential to at least be a fair quarterback this year. Like last year, he had some solid statistics. And for a Steelers team, they could probably win some games with those kind of statistics. Their defense looks absolutely filthy i do mean filthy for the steelers and if they play defense like that all year look out mike tomlin again gonna win 10 11 12 games we could be in a world where justin fields could be the starting quarterback for an 11 or 12 win team i also want to point out and i understand the bears ultimately won can you imagine if justin fields in the se- ends the season with more wins than caleb williams Oh, well, that's interesting. And puts Russell Wilson out of a job. Uh, there's a lot of storylines that are f- fascinating, and this is this is one of the biggest ones, and we didn't even get a chance to see Russ lose the job. He may have lost it. I mean, let's be honest. If they're not losing games, I don't think I don't think Justin gets pulled. I don't. If they're winning games or they're real competitive, I, th- I think he stays in. Tell me what you think. Wow. No Sean Payton revenge game. That's nuts. Peace them out. Till next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.